good morning students today we are going to learn more word actually we are living in a world of communication so today you have to communicate whether it is in written or it is orally so you have to be good at words the more words you know the better will be your comprehension better will you be able to understand the people better you will be able to explain to others your viewpoint your ideas so the first word is convivial sociable genial affable there are some people who are full of enthusiasm josh excitement so we can use the word convivial for them so such people whenever you observe them in parties they are dancing they are cheerful they are full of josh and they bring life to the gathering so such a people they are lovable everybody like to enjoy in their company and want to have them as friends uh, some want to have them as mentors and others so full of josh you know every organization also uh, want convivial people because they bring energy to the organization they bring energy to the system so convivial a positive word person full of energy see we go for another word indefatigable here you see in is a negative prefix whenever it is put in front of any word the meaning becomes opposite so indefatigable means tireless some people you will see that full of energy so they are always on the move they are dynamic they are doing different works and it seems that they do not get uh, tired for example ant ant is the best example you will see ant always on the move it seems to us that they never take rest they keep on working there are many people you can take elderly people although they are old but they never feel tired because they have high passion because they don't have negative uh, thoughts because uh, for many of the people's negative thoughts anxiety tension depression they suck the energy of the person so indefatigable people are tireless they have again lot of energy it seems that by working by concentrating on a particular goals they are full of energy so uh, one example of indefatigable you take our prime minister narendra modi he works for 18 to 20 hours per day it seems he have lots of energy so he is indefatigable another word is ingenuous meaning is frank natural unsophisticated so ingenuous people are natural in their state they are frank they are open they don't try to be what they are not so these are the people who are in their natural self they are not polished they are honest so they are what they are they never want to show themselves in different lights so you can see at times people of villages they are ingenuous in nature perspicacious the next word keen minded there are some people who are very sharp minded they know how to get work done from other people they exploit other people their energy they exploit the people who are not so intelligent they are perspicacious sharp minded for example you can take politicians they often take uses of common man and try to win the elections in even every class you will see perspicacious mind 
they are able to understand people very easily because of the sharpness of mind and definitely such people who are perspicacious they outperform in any group in any organization because of sharpness of their mind they bring the best out of themselves and even at times they bring the best out of others because of the sharpness of mind magnanimous large-hearted noble you know there are a lot of people who want to serve the society well who want to work for their nation who want to work for humanity so such people are large-hearted in nature for example you can see bill gates one of the richest man then you can take narayan murthy of infosys company so such people they not are earning but they are creating a difference in the society they help lot of poor women to provide them work they help people to grow so they are of great help they are doing constructive work for the society so they are magnanimous in nature they get the people married in groups <coughs> they do a lot for the society even they pay fees of students with a poor background so playing a <coughs> constructive role and hence they are magnanimous because they think this is the society from where they have grown where they have earned so it is their moral responsibility to serve them back to help the society to grow so that reflects their magnanimous nature versatile capable in many directions you know there are people who are multifaceted you can see them they are good at sports they are good at arts they are good at dancing they are almost good in many fields so you name a field and they are there so versatile people usually organization want versatile people they want people who can be a problem solver uh, to the organization so such people are rare but they exist next word is stoical unflinching people who are same in tough time or in good time in summer or winter when they are in problems or without problems so they maintain their nature true self in all the extreme and favorable times so stoical for examples you see the elderly people they have seen the harshness of nature they have seen the different nature of different people how they had changed with the time so they have learned to be stoical you know probability says that at times things will go as we wish and at times they will go as we do not wish so different things uh, happens in life good things and bad things they keep on happening so we have to maintain our state of mind same because life sometimes give us something sometimes it takes something away from us so we have to maintain uh, at the same state in all the happenings although it is quite difficult because humans are uh, emotional in nature but to a great degree stoical nature can be attained next word is intrepid intrepid is fearless dauntless indian army is full of soldiers and officers who are intrepid in nature it is because of them that we have won many wars it is because of them we have 
hit back the enemies. So these are the courageous people, they are the bold and daring people. What is courage? Courage is not absence of fear, but courage is management of fear. You know fear that comes in everyone's life, but we have to understand our position and act accordingly. So we should see what we can do in that state. So intrepid, scintillating, so its meaning is witty, clever, delightful. You know some people are humorous in nature, whoever is in their company, you know they are full of laughter. They have a positive impact on other people. It seems that they are happy all the time. Scintillating. You know, actors, actresses, whenever they are in front of the camera, they are scintillating in nature. Next word, Arvane. Arvane is polished, bland. Arvane, the word has come from urban. So, Arbane is polished, mannered, you know, humans are provided with education, why? Just to make him polished, we at time interact in different social groups, are we polished enough to be in those groups? I think one should not hurt the feelings and emotion of others, one must be caring in nature. So. We have to behave in a group in such a manner that we put a good impression on us. So that is our being. So you can say it's a development of mind. Another word is penury. Penury is poverty. You see there are certain people who do not have the pure necessities of life. So we can use the word penurious for them. They do not have quality food, they do not have quality living. So we can say that these people they are living a life under penury. Vicarious, indirect, second hand. Let us take an example of going to Paris. How can you go to Paris? I think you can purchase a ticket of the airlines and you can go to that country. Say example Paris. There is another way you go through a documentary on Paris and you can see the places. Eiffel Tower is there. Uh, coffee houses are there. A lot of things are there. So this second method is called vicarious. These day people they are not living real life because real life is full of happiness but they are living vicarious life. People are after vicarious joy. I would be happy if I eat a gulab jamun. I will not be so happy if I see other people eating gulab jamuns. So that means vicarious. For example, a child, he goes to school every day in good dress. So one day he gets the trophy for the best dress. He is very happy. But you will see his mother will be more happy. Why? Because she feels vicarious joy. She says that, okay, it is Rin Shakti that I have used. Because of that only uh, he got this trophy, this award. It is a recognition of her hard work. So there is a vicarious joy, you know at times our friend they get selection in different competitions. So we feel good, we have a party, why? So we have vicarious joy. But the true joy will come only when you will get selected. So you have to see that you have to go for vicarious joy or real joys. I hope you will go for real joys. Next word is ephemeral. Ephemeral is impermanent. impermanent. You know, nothing is everlasting in this world. 
the only truth is death so ephemeral is for a short duration for example you see bubbles they are formed and they dies same is the life of humans ephemeral life the life is of four days and I think each day is of 20 years so human is ephemeral when he will die nobody knows we comes here with a very short life euphism circumlocution please enter expressions a very interesting word euphism you know for different words and phrases they are please enter expression that is used for example for the word toilet we can use the word washroom for the word woman we can use fair sex so we have lot of words parallel to other words so uh, these words are being used by polish people so one should use euphemism whenever uh, in a good company because they are the quality words so we should avoid uh, being circumlocutory in nature because there the comprehension become difficult so one cannot understand you properly next word is badinage badinage is banter half teasing you know at times people laugh at others so they hurt others but i think if it is done to a certain stage it is bearable otherwise not so badinage means half teasing so one should avoid being a badinage to others because it hurts their feelings and sentiments another word is bovine bovine means placid stolid calm patient so there are some people who are like a cow so we call them bovine fellow they are patient even at times when somebody try to laugh at them they remain calm so it's really a very good nature next word is nostalgia a frequent word that is being asked in different competitions meaning is homesickness you know at times we feel nostalgic about our past about our school days so whenever we meet with our class fellows of the childhood we become nostalgic whenever you will get selected and you will join professional institutes or you will go for placement you will feel nostalgic about your school days really they were the excellent days we have spent learning was there fun was there and trouble making was also there so homesickness we feel nostalgia even the sweets the food that was prepared for by mother we feel nostalgic about that the, the mischiefs that we have done in the classes we again feel nostalgia about that the teacher who have put a good impression on us which develop us to the best of abilities we feel nostalgic about those people who have played their role in the best possible way nostalgia you know about the annual function about the debates arts competitions that you have participated again you feel nostalgia about that the trophies the awards that you have win you feel nostalgic about that your days spent with your sisters the mischiefs you have done they again create the nostalgia next word is cacophonous harsh noise you know people who live nearby bus stand railway station they go through cacophonous nature of those places even in sabji mandi you feel cacophonous there is a famous proverb that rome was saved because of the crackling of geese 
because of that crackling a lot of the people they come out of their homes and they survived so that is how that was the people were saved cacophonous you know the voice of crow is cacophonous in nature that is not a uh, music to your ears that is not pleasant to your ears but it is harsh noise it hurts us carnivores so flesh eating animals they are carnivores in nature you can take example of lion it is carnivores in nature nature has made them so that their food depends on other animals next word is clandestine again a word which is most oftenly uh, coming in competition exams its meaning is secret you know indians the patriots in their struggle for freedom they have organized lot of meetings and they were secret meaning so they have a clandestine meeting and britishers used to be after them to catch such people so clandestine you know these days clandestine agreements are being done between different organizations so clandestine the first time you know a boy and a girl who are meeting they are going to a restaurant secretly they haven't told anybody so they are looking here and there if people are observing them really it gives a great joy so clandestine meeting so clandestine is secret you know aerial washing powder so over it it is written recommended by reliance it is not a product of reliance group it is a product of procter and gamble so definitely there is a secret understanding between the two companies maybe they provide aerial to reliance group which has a vimal brand of clothing so some clandestine agreement is there for example you see that in maharashtra a government has been formed by having two or three parties so definitely they have some clandestine agreement because of which they are forming the government the seats of ministers are given to different parties to keep them along so clandestine agreement secret agreements are being taken so a very important word clandestine so you have seen that today we have learned a few words which are not only interesting but easy to remember again i said i will be coming with a new trick of remembering words so one such trick is having a visiting card empty visiting card and on a, you can take five cards on which 10 words would be written one in the front another in the back so you write a word but write the meaning on the back of that card similarly on the other side you put the word on the top and keep the meaning on the other side so each card will be having two words so this way every day you will be learning 10 new words so it's a very good habit if you develop but you must take these words from a newspaper and keep on revising and repeating so whenever in a day you get time take out the cards look for the meaning if you are able to give the meaning it's fine if you are not able to give the meaning look at the back so similarly you will have so many repetition of the words that it becomes a game it becomes a play it is a joyous to remember words so every day so you will see within a month you will have 150 words one the uh, 50 cards having 300 words so you can remember the words in this way it's a very interesting method 
so you can apply thank you very much